What's up guys, it's me Hunter Ivy and it's time for my new review series. Since you guys love my Blu-ray collection videos and stuff, so I decided to do a little something that I wanted, that I wanted to do uh, for a long time. A review series. Even though I did this before, I've done review series before, but they weren't that great. But Back to reviewing, so here we go. And the first movie I'm going to review is Scoob. So yeah, based on the TV show Scooby-Doo, What Are You, and other TV shows and stuff, and you should know, I'm a Scooby-Doo fan. I love Scooby-Doo. It's one of my favorite uh, series, and it's one of my favorite shows while I was growing up. I used to watch Scooby-Doo when I was a kid. I loved the character of Scooby-Doo, and he was always one of my favorite characters in there. So is Shaggy, Fred, Velma, and including other characters like uh, Daphne as well. I, I like those characters. They're really good characters and stuff. Yeah. And when I heard there was a, heard there was a new Scooby-Doo movie coming out, I was kind of looking forward to it and stuff. Yeah. And this was going to be a prequel to Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a bit of a prequel. It's got a bit of a prequel vibe to it. Even though that's already been made. Yeah, because we already got a prequel to Scooby-Doo already. It was called Scooby-Doo... Um, the Mystery Begins, a TV movie on Heart Network, and it was, it was not bad. I, I liked it. I thought it was actually a pretty good re movie, and they and they actually uh, had mystery in that movie. They had, it did a mystery pretty well, but this movie, it's not that good. Yeah. Before we get on to the negatives of this movie, let's just get on the positives. My positives with this movie so far has to be this. Um, well, I do like the animation. I love the animation of this movie. The animation looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so the animation does it pretty well with this movie. It, it looks like this movie was done in 3D. Yeah, because this movie, I think this movie was supposed to come out in 3D when this movie was first made, but now they decided to put it on demand because the quarantine, the uh, coronavirus, and all that stuff. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. They figured they should put it on the man because of the success of Troll 2, of Troll 2 World Tour. So they figured that would work. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, our first positive, this, our first positive this movie has, has to be the, the prequel, and the prequel beginning of the movie. Yeah. Like, where we get to see Scooby Doo and Shaggy meet together. Yeah. That's actually a pretty good way to start a movie where we get to see Scooby Doo and actually Shaggy meet together. But this time, Shuri is, is for the first time ever, Scooby Doo gets his name for the first time. Like, he gets his name like Scooby uh, Doo, uh, Dooby Doo. That's his name. That's his name, which is just kind of funny. I mean, that's really funny and stuff. It's also really interesting to see uh, Shaggy as a, as a kid in this movie because, yeah, that's actually a pretty good reference to uh, the name Scooby Doo. I have to admit, it, was, it, it did a pretty good job with, with that kind of reference and stuff. So yeah, I kind of you gotta give me some nostalgic to it, and that, that's a really good way to give me some nostalgic and stuff. Because yeah, I used to watch Pump Me Scooby Doo all the time, ever, ever since it came out. It was a great show. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a great show indeed. And then we also have other positives, like the voice actors. The voice actors did a pretty good job. Zach, uh, like Zach Efron as Fred did a good job. And Fred, even though he only plays a little of Fred in this movie, um, Gina. Rodriguez does a good job as um, Velma. She she does a decent job pretty well. And so does the other voice actors and slash actresses do a pretty good job too. They actually did it good. Yeah, so yeah. And that's the only positives I have in this movie so far. That's the only positives I have. There are some jokes that are kind of funny. At the moment, there are some jokes that are kind of funny. I did laugh at some jokes and stuff. And the, even robots in this movie, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I admit, they're pretty cool. But now we get on to... The negatives of this movie. I mean, this movie has a lot of negatives. It does. My first negative ha this movie has to be the Blue Falcon. Oh, uh, by the way, it's not Blue Falcon, just so you guys know. It's it's not Blue Falcon. Mm -mm. It's not Blue Falcon. They, I'm not going to respawn it too much for you, but he's not Blue Falcon at all. It's, uh, he's not much of a superhero. Yeah, he's not really much of a superhero, and the character, Blue Falcon, he's kind of annoying at times. And 
I just didn't really, didn't really like him that all that much. He's, he's pr pretty much like an unfunny version of Deadpool. And he tries to be like Deadpool, but he's so unfunny. And, and he's so pointless in this Like, why do we need him? Why do we need Blue Falcon and Dial Mutt in this movie? Why are they in this movie? It makes no sense. Isn't this movie supposed to be a Scooby Doo? And the gang mean together? Like, as, is, is that the point of this movie? Really? Just having Blue Falcon and Dial Mutt in this movie? And then we have like Dick Dastardly taking over the world, trying to open this uh, portal to something else. And what is going on? The fuck? I mean, really? If this is what the new Squeal is supposed to be? Really? So this is what it's supposed to be the movie what you like, like? This is just not Scooby Doo. It's not. There's not even a, a bit of mystery in this movie. There's, yeah, the mystery is just not really that good in this movie at all. I mean, it's not even much of a mystery at all. It doesn't feel like Scooby Doo. It's just, just some kid. It's just some kid. Uh, it's, it's just a random gang just trying to stop an evil dude taking over the world with this, opening this portal or something like that. And that's what he does. And that's it. Yeah, it's pretty cliche. Very cliche and very contrived indeed. It's very contrived. I don't like the writing in this movie. I don't like the writing in this movie and stuff. Yeah. Another problem in this movie is also some of the humor. Some of the humor is definitely not funny at all. Including the pop culture references in this movie. Oh yeah, the pop culture references can get really annoying. Like, there are a lot of pop culture references in this movie that can get really annoying. Like, they don't really fit in this movie. They don't seem to fit. This is Scooby Doo. Why are they? Why are there pop culture references in this movie? Why? Just why? It makes no sense. If you're gonna put pop culture references in this movie, please do it right. But in this movie, they just pop up everywhere, and they and they just don't fit. They just don't really fit at all. It's just like every time I hear a pop culture reference in this movie, I'm like, that doesn't fit. It's not even funny. It's not even good. So, just why? It just doesn't really make any sense to me. Yeah. What doesn't make any sense to me is the, is the plot of this movie. It just, it's just so convoluted and so confusing. Like, there's, there's this, there's this uh, part where, where there's a prophecy about Scooby and Shaggy and stuff. And yeah, there's this prophecy in this movie. And that's so cliche. Really? Another prophecy? Really? In this kind of movie? You gotta be kidding me. Why? Just... Why? Yeah, this doesn't feel like Scooby-Doo at all. Yeah. Because when I was... When I first saw a trailer for this movie, I was expecting something Scooby-Doo. I was expecting a Scooby-Doo movie, but... No. This is not a Scooby-Doo movie. This is a very boring... Kids movie with Scooby-Doo and the gang in it, and... They don't really solve a mystery. They just... Work with Blue Falcon and trying to save the world from Dick Dastardly. That's about it. It's not really much of a Scooby-Doo movie, and it's also not much of a mystery at all. So yeah, this movie makes uh, the Mystery Begins a better movie to watch. And don't get me wrong, I actually do like that movie. Scooby-Doo: Mystery Begins is, is actually a better movie than this. This movie on our hand is pretty boring. And it's not really that good. Yeah, it's definitely not really that good of a movie and stuff. So yeah. Another negative of this movie has to be uh, Shaggy's voice actor, Wilbert Forte. Will Forte as Shaggy, uh, Shaggy, not good. His voice didn't fit right. Yeah, it, he's definitely not Ma uh, Matthew Lillard at all. Yeah, Matthew Lillard did a better job. Shaggy when it came to uh, Scooby-Doo live action movies and even the Scooby-Doo shows and stuff when we did voice acting and everything. Yeah, it was a better choice. But Will Forte, definitely not a good choice. He didn't sound right for Shaggy. Yeah, his voice didn't really sound right at all. Yeah. So yeah. So there's my positives and there's my negatives. I didn't like this movie. I didn't. I just didn't like this movie at all. So, yeah. Wow, I 
I was disappointed. Very disappointed indeed. But if you like this movie, that's fine. I respect your opinion, guys. I do really respect your opinion. But anyway, for me, I just didn't like this movie. This movie wasn't for me at all. And as far and also since I'm a Scooby Doo fan, this movie was not really a Scooby Doo movie at all. It's just didn't feel like a Scooby Doo movie. Yeah. So I'm giving this movie a uh, two out of five stars. It's just not a Scooby Doo movie. It's just not. It's just a movie with the gang working with Blue Falcon trying to fight off Dick Dastardly and his plan and trying to stop him. That's it. It's not much of a, it's not really a mystery. And it's definitely not Scooby Doo at all. Yeah. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I might do more reviews uh, like this. Probably just two weeks each because uh, I'm trying to still focus more on my other stuff I have on YouTube and everything. But anyway guys, thanks for watching so much and that's my review of Scoob. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway guys, I'm Hunter Robbie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.